So a couple of weeks ago, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet dropped a new DLC, introducing the new Kitakami region. Not only did this introduce new Pokemon that can be caught in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we got some new legendary Pokemon, we introduced new movesets on Pokemon that already existed, and an entire storyline. So you already know. Today we're going to be attempting to beat all of Pokemon the Teal Mask only using shiny new Pokemon. This is going to be a pretty long video, so you might as well get your popcorn now and enjoy all the new shiny Pokemon that were introduced to the new Pokemon. Pokemon DLC. And we recently just hit 20,000 subscribers, which is pretty insane. And that was my goal for last year. So it's pretty lit that we actually hit a goal. And because of the amount of support you guys show on the videos, my editors are able to eat. But for them to continue eating, you got to keep hitting that like button. Trust me, my editors will definitely appreciate your charity. All right, Poppy, I'm here to smoke you with my shiny fairy type Pokemon so we can end this video and beat the game. Oh, hell no, you got me fucked up. You think I'm about to lose to you? <laughs> You're using shiny fairy types. You know what Pokemon I use? I use steel types. I'm about to smoke your ass. Wait, Duaji, do you know what day it is? Uh, it's Wednesday. The fuck? Bro, I know what day it is. Do I look like a dumbass to you? Okay, damn, you don't, you're gonna talk to me like that. Uh, it's the 13th. The 13th? Oh my God. Yo, what are you doing here? Why are you trying to beat the game with fucking fairy type shiny Pokemon? What do you mean? Why wouldn't I? Oh my God. Are you telling me you don't know the DLC drops today? DLC? DLC for what? Oh, oh okay, look, look. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you this once. There's a new region. There's new Pokemon. There's new legendaries and shit, yo. Like, come on now. You gotta do that. Wait, what? There's a new region? Oh yeah, they actually do do that. I'm about to leave this room. The fuck you mean you about to leave? You in this bitch. You in the Elite Four. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. She smoked us. But hey, it don't even matter because we get to play the Till Mask DLC. This added a lot of things in Pokemon. But as you can see, it took a little bit of time. But this is the first Pokemon Shiny Nuzlocke that we decided to do. This is the original file. And what we did was put every single Shiny Pokemon that we caught in every single video that were all on separate files and transferred them all over to one. I felt like it was only right if we put them all on this file. We have literally everyone. We got Cotton Baby, the original pink shiny jump love. Editor, show them in the intro of the pink shiny video. But hey, that's enough of reminiscing. I decide to go ahead and assemble my team. We already had floppy tents on there, but we decided to get the Roto, Gunky, Boach, Queso, and Applejack. And you already know for the memories, the first po pink shiny Pokemon that we caught on this channel ever, Puff Puff. We decide to immediately heal these buddies up and this right here on screen is one of the features that was added into the new update in DLC. Now we can freeze our freaking Pokemon so we can take pictures. It's about goddamn time. Why didn't they have this in the beginning of the game? You know how hard it was to get freaking pictures of Pokemon? You know how much pain it took to get the goddamn thumbnail? I gotta test this out. I go ahead and pull out my camera, get Puff Paw in position and go ahead and freeze them. I'm able to do 360s without making them freaking turn around and shit this is awesome but guess what they literally removed the feature to take the ui off in the camera what the f bro what how are you gonna add this update but make it so i can't even take cinematic videos anymore bro like come on this shit made me so upset i'm not gonna lie now look at me i'm over here taking selfies with palmy with the fucking ui on now like bro all right that's enough that's enough so we have to make our way to the school hall so we can talk to briere or briere i don't even know how to say her name but talking to this lady basically starts the dlc hello how can i help you come on girl you already know why i'm over here i'm trying to play that new pokemon dlc uh did no one tell you in this new pokemon region they hate black hey what's going on duaji you about to check out the new dlc i see oh my oh my god is that jack uh excuse me who are you i'm not gonna lie professor jack i've been wanting to jack you oh no nah, this bitch wild and what the fuck i'm about to tell the director what the hell you just said you know what wait 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 wait, wait. don't tell anyone look look i'll take you to the region but i'm, I'm telling you they hate black people it's not my fault if they do some crazy shit to you and just like that we're able to obtain our new school uniform you see that you see this shit i got that shit on boy it's about time we actually had a freaking backpack that looked like a backpack and not a fucking 3d pokemon rig that old backpack looked like it was ripped off of fucking unity but of course this is considered a field trip so we have some other kids and we go ahead and take a trip to the first part of the dlc the teal mask it's about time but you already know we're in the kitakami region immediately jumping to this region we're able to encounter pokemon that was not in this game that are fan favorites look at the spinner rack do you see this hey duaji i'm not gonna lie i don't think anybody's a fan of that pokemon that pokemon sucks okay but look 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 at this corfish though do you see this motherfucker pokemon yo 
Oh, hey, yo, why are you walking up on me like that? Hey, hey, mate, the fuck you looking at? Oh, hell no, I hear some shitty ass British. Was, was that supposed to be British? You keep talking shit, and I cut your eyes out, you cunt. Oh, my God. Now, since Grandpa told me that there's gonna be a lot of outsiders coming here today. Oh, my God, is that a black person? Holy fuck. Wait a second, wait, why do you look like that? Yeah, why, why does he look like that? Oh, hell no, we gotta get this dude off the island. You already know we gotta do a Pokemon battle, because what the fuck are you? And then we immediately have to start the battle against Carmen. And we go ahead and send out our shiny Puff Paul, you already know. I start the battle and what the fuck? This bitch got a level 12 Poochiena. Get that shit out of here. Oh, don't think this shit is over yet. Go full picks. Bro, you gotta be dumb as hell. Get that shit out of here too. Oh yeah, it's not over yet. Go poach you guys. What kind of fucking Pokemon is that? Get that shit out of, what the? Oh, it was resistant to electric. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know what the hell that Pokemon was. That had to be new. Oh my God, sis, you just got smoked by a black person. The village is doomed. I swear to God, I'm gonna smoke every one of you. Hey, what are you guys doing? What the fuck is going on? Oh, shit, we gotta get out of here. Hey, I'm sorry about that. Everybody in this village is racist, and the fact that you're black as hell, you're scared of. I really hope you don't feel discriminated against. What the fuck you mean? Yes! I can't even be on this island because I'm black? Well, damn, you're gonna talk to me like that. So that old man go ahead and gets everybody else that was on the field trip. I don't even know who these people are. They're literally fodder. Who's that little kid in the back the fuck and yeah that's the beginning of the dlc we have to go to this community center and we can't even leave at night so we're gonna have to go to sleep here but the next day we wake up and we're assigned our mission for this island or this dlc i guess yes sir you are your duwaji so today well to be more specific this entire field trip we're assigning you guys in groups and you guys are gonna take a bunch of selfies in front of wood and i'm not talking about that you know that dangling damn so it seems like we gotta team up i never thought this would happen what what are you talking about? <laughs> We're talking about being teamed up by a black person. We never seen anybody like you. Kyrian, shut your dumb ass up. Damn, I'm just speaking the truth. Sorry for him. <laughs> he doesn't know how to be microaggressive yet. Hell no, nah, you got me fucked up. We're having a Pokemon battle. Go, Serenette. Oh my god. Okay, we gotta battle this dude. We sent out Puff Paul. You already know. And this is when I realized, yeah, we gotta put some rules onto this challenge. Because I'm hella confused. Why the hell does he have level 12 Pokemon? He uses quick attack on me and I just put him in the dirt with the arm throw. Us. What the fuck? This isn't even fair. He even since Yanima. Ooh, my favorite Pokemon of all time. That should get smoked too. So yeah, then I, I, I definitely came to the realization if we continue just using our shiny Pokemon, although we are using shiny Pokemon, we're just gonna fail. And we haven't even went over the rules of this challenge. So boom, here are the rules. At all times, we gotta make sure that our Pokemon are at least the same level as them. Which will be super easy because the next rule is that we can only use new shiny Pokemon. Meaning any Pokemon that's on this island or just new Pokemon in general are on the table. <sighs> yep, we're gonna have to do a lot of shiny hunting on this fucking racist island. Third, we cannot use any mm. items or held items in battle. And fourth, this video isn't over until we beat the god dang DLC. It doesn't matter. We're gonna have to reset over and over if we have to. So now that the rules are set and I'm starting to understand that this freak, like the levels don't even make sense in this region, we can finally start this Pokemon Nuzlocke. Yeah, sorry that took that long yeah my editor's probably pissed but first things first you already know we gotta check out this region we go into the store and we see that we can buy clothes okay let's see what they got the fuck knitted socks knitted gloves i don't want this shit the fuck is on my hands this is all you got okay bro more importantly i wanted to see all the pokemon that we were able to encounter in this region that we can get that are shiny such as the c dot vulpix heracross is here oh even swine up okay okay there's some pretty decent pokemon that i wish was in the game in the first place at this portion of the game i'm kind of scouting out trying to see what pokemon that we should get you know i definitely don't want that shiny stern it but hey if it happens it happens this flow mantis all sorts of stuff we're able to see a lot of new pokemon and everything and i got generally got the idea of what pokemon i was going to shine him for first but we also had to complete the game so let's go through that hey duwaji uh so uh it looks like we got to take pictures together yeah we got to take pictures in front of these signs but like what is it i can't even read this what the fuck does this say what language is this oh my god i know my parents told me that you guys were illiterate but you can't even read a sign you stupid hamburger lip that okay nah 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 we not doing that bro tell me what's on the sign all right so this sign basically says 
because long ago there was this ogre, kinda looked like you, that came to the village and was wreaking havoc until the loyal three decided to help us. Get rid of him forever. Yeah, so they basically inflated the cost of living to make it so we couldn't even live here anymore. Just so we couldn't see stupid ugly ogres like him. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, bro. I was, bro. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. You can't be talking to me like that, bro. I'll slap the shit out of you. Okay, damn. I, I didn't know I was saying anything that could make you angry. Oh, oh hell no, you got my n***a. Duwaji, you fucked up, bitch. You really got the audacity to talk to my n like that? Boy, you don't know what the fuck we done did together. I can smoke you right now. So you better stop talking crazy for the rest of this video. The people watching the video ain't liking that shit either. Damn, okay, I'll stop, I'll stop. There's no reason for you to press me like this. But yeah, that pretty much covers the plot of like what we're doing in the backstory of this freaking DLC. So let's go ahead and shiny hunt for some Pokemon. You know what I'm saying? So here we're at the bottom of Oni Mountain where we decided to eat a fighting encounter sandwich so we can encounter wild timbers as you can see there's a shit ton and this is an awesome pokemon especially for it to be our first shiny pokemon in this region i freaking love this pokemon in pokemon black but of course <sighs> As you know, shiny hunting takes a lot of freaking time. But of course, with the magic of editing, we're able to immediately encounter one. This is a shiny timber. And as you can see, its nose is red. We go ahead and throw ultra balls at this Pokemon, being able to catch it. That being said, this is the first shiny Pokemon that we were able to encounter. Everybody welcome Timbo to the team. I immediately say, just in case my game crashes or some shit. And that now means we can go ahead and put up our other shiny Pokemon into the box and only use the new region and shinies. But I kid you not, I turned around, ran off, accidentally ran into a Hatterene, and then I had encountered a shiny Bonsly. Like, back to back. That shit was kinda crazy. I'm not gonna lie. But hey, two for one? I ain't complaining at all! I go ahead and get the shiny Bonsly, and yes, I know Sudowoodle was available before, but hey, if it's on this island, I'm catching it! Especially if it's a shiny I never used before! So we go ahead and add the new Bonsly to our team. Naming them Bonnie. We decide to make our way up to this mountain. Damn, nobody inhabits this at all nobody up here they only live in that village they didn't do anything anywhere else that's kind of crazy this is pokemon legends arceus but luckily we're able to encounter our next shiny pokemon which was a shiny slugma we catch this pokemon and decide to name them sluma and now that we have three shiny pokemon that we're able to use in this challenge we decide to continue through the dlc hoping we don't lose a year because that shit took a little bit i'm not gonna lie so the Waji, you're not using any of your op ass pokemon <laughs> you already know you about to get smoked but I'm not gonna lie. Oh, no, you still in my lingo now? Okay, bruh. We immediately start the battle against the Poliwag with our Timbo. They use Mud Shot as we kick the shit out of them with Low Kick. We take another Mud Shot, unfortunately dropping our speed even further, but ultimately being able to take a Water Gun and take out the Poliwag. The next Pokemon that comes out is Yanma. And already know this shit about to smoke me, so I go ahead and swap to Bonnie. As they use Air Cutter, we're able to resist it, but oh, they crit me. That kind of sucks. We then try to use a Rock Throw, hoping that we land it and since it's super effective, oh my god, how are you smoking me with these little ass Pokemon? We're able to smoke the Yamba. But now Ferret comes out. We don't have any HP on Bonnie, even though this would have been a good Pokemon to use it against. So we swap to Sluma. As they use Dig. What the? Why do you have that move? You're like level 10. We swap to Timbo. We take the Dig and they crit me. Of course you crit me. I was hoping that I would be faster than it. So I decided to Terrasalize into a fighting type. And hope that we have enough power to take this thing out in one hit. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, you dumb as hell. Ferret, smoke his ass but he had quick attack yeah all right that's the first death of the run let's freaking go at this point i don't know how the hell i'm about to win i send out slula and you already know this pokemon has dig and this sluma is definitely not faster than it so i decided to use harden raising my defense as we take the dig we're able to retaliate with an ember but <laughs> That don't do shit. Luckily, Kyrian is the worst Pokemon trainer in existence and decides the defense curl when we're using special attack moves. Meaning, I'm able to get another Harden off just in case they do use Dig again and we just take them out with two Embers. Yeah. What? How did I lose? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. There's no universe where you beat me, bro. Right after this battle, Bonnie evolves into a pseudo Wudo. You see the shiny boy? You see the freaking red pom poms you got? This shit is lit. We then go into this cave. We come out, and you already know we have to box our Pokemon that died. But before doing that, we decide to evolve them so we can see the freaking shiny girder. You see this shit, yo? It's lit. Hell yeah, boy. Over here looking like Buggy the Clown, but unfortunately, we have to box Timbo. So we really suck that we lost Timbo. On the bright side, this does mean that we can encounter some new shiny Pokemon. The next Pokemon that I decided to encounter was Volpix.
Vulpix. We decided to name this Pokemon Vulpix. But looking at the typing of her team right now, it's really unbalanced. The fact that water type Pokemon could smoke us right now is not good. So I go ahead and decide to catch a Pokemon that is a water type. We make our way down to this river, and after a little bit of time, we're able to encounter the shiny Wooper. We go ahead and throw a dive ball at that, get in the freaking shiny Wooper. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I know you can get one of these in the base game by trading this one lady, the, the Wooper. But the fact that we can get one shiny in this game is awesome. I decided to name this Pokemon because I was doing the ducky right now. I got a shiny whooper. Unfortunately, uh, it's water and ground type, meaning, yeah, <laughs> we don't have a water resistance and we really do need one. So I decided to stay a little bit longer here, trying to get another water resistant Pokemon. And at last, shiny Corfit shows itself. I freaking love Crawdon. So you already know I had to get one of these. So we catch a shiny Corfish and name it Corpy. And I decided to stay at the river testing my luck, trying to get another water type Pokemon that could be shiny and we got super lucky and was able to encounter a yanma the blue shiny yanma is now on our team with the netball and i was able to get all of my favorite pokemon from previous generations but i decided to make my way back to mesagoza so i can go to deli bird presence to get me a fire stone and every evolution stone in existence just so we can evolve any pokemon that needs one but now we have to fly back to the village so we do that and Kira decides to introduce us to his grandpa hey what's up grandpa hey what's going on grandpa oh, what the who on Coronation do you have with you? Oh, uh, this this is Duwaji. Duwaja? A uh, Duwaj, what? Who the hell gave you that name? <laughs> you know what? You don't even gotta answer that. <laughs> I already know who gave you that name. It was definitely some ghetto black bitch. Now come on, honey. I know we're Japanese and we hate black people, but still, lay off on them for me, please. Come on, grandpa, at least for the video. Oh, you're doing a video? <laughs> I didn't mean anything I said to you. <laughs> but look, do me a favor. While you're here, it would only make sense if you looked apart. We're gonna cook now. Come on. Come on, honey, we're gonna go ahead and put that shit on you. What the fuck did they do to you? Yeah, honey, he look a lot better. What, what the fuck did y'all do to the top of my head? Do y'all see what they did to me? Oh my god, I freaking hate the fact that there's these black people here. Oh, uh, you're here. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Carmen. Uh, we <laughs> we definitely heard what you said. You know what? I can't take it anymore. I'm about to smoke you dumb ass for good. You have it for lip dead. We immediately start the battle against Carmen with her Morpico. Awesome. Against our Bonnie. We take a bite and unfortunately get freaking flinched. All right, nice. Nice, good job. They didn't leer us as we use Rock Slide, taking them down to low HP. And you see this animation? Bro, I never knew that this Pokemon was just constantly eating nuts. This is so cool to see. But Bonnie's about to get smoked, so that's not cool to see. So we go ahead and swap Bonnie out so we can send out our Whippy. We're able to take the bite and then retaliate with a mud shot, killing the Morpico. What the? Is this about the mask? Come on, stop. The super effective moves. What the hell you been, bro? We're playing Pokemon. You don't know type matchups? I'm about to smoke your dumb ass then. Swadaloon comes out, and you already know I send out Yego. And we go ahead and smoke that Pokemon with that. And this Pokemon has speed boost. Pretty sure that's common, but I, I don't remember. My Iena comes out, and I go ahead and stay in and use Air Cutter. <laughs> Not doing that much damage at all, as it uses How. And I really don't want to use Yego. But I had no choice but to stay in and use Air Cutter. As they use Fair. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Never mind. I didn't think that. Pokemon would have Fire Fang, but hey, here we are. And we go ahead and send Volpe. And since you want to use Fire type moves so bad, how about you use it on this Pokemon? You bitch ass Mightyena. We go ahead and use Incinerate. It does a decent amount of damage as they take down us. And they take us down to 10 HP, but luckily that's a recoil move, meaning they're able to kill themselves. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make you kill yours. Hey, yo, you can't say that in the video. Yo, 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 editor, I'm gonna need you to cut that out. This girl is wild. But the last Pokemon Pocha guys come out. The only thing we know is that this is a grass type, so we go ahead and swap out slugma and we're able to finish off her pokemon with the ember meaning we beat carmine or carmen which one is it i don't really know but unfortunately yego died but on the bright side because they died i decided to show the evolution at least we could see the yamega shiny look at this Y'all make it get that shit on, boy. While we're here, we decided to evolve our Volpe to, you already know.
know, Nine Tails. Then we went ahead and evolved our Corpion to Crawdon. My very favorite po- What the? Yo, this Pokemon's shiny's ass, but look look at his freaking stomach. Bro, I even noticed that on the Cord Crawdon before. That's that's very weird. And you already know it's nighttime, so we decided to participate in the festival. And I'm not gonna lie, it was kind of lit, but Sudowoodo was on the ground going to sleep. It's okay, Sudowoodo. I know this place isn't for brown people like us. But of course, since we're at the festival, I decided to go to every freaking food stand and try everything. The, the first place I decided to go to was the shaped ice stand. Hey, how you doing, young man? You look like you would like this. And we got some grape shaped ice. Hey, that's kind of fun. Wait a second. Oh, hell no. Why did you give me this? Hey, at least all my Pokemon in the background are chomping down on this shit. It looks like I wasn't even able to get any. We then tried out this flower ice cream and we got the cone. Tell me, would you get the cone or would you get the cup? What is the point of getting a cup? Don't you want to eat the cone too? I don't know. I could just be greedy. Let me know down below. And then right after this, we tried some candy apple with all their shiny Pokemon that we got during this video. And then me and Sudowoodle had a deep conversation about how we felt. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, Duwaji. <laughs> I know Pokemon and humans can't talk to each other, but we can speak each other's language because we the same people. You know what I'm saying? Like, but this place is racist. Why Asian people hate black people so much? I don't get it. <laughs> Look, I'm not gonna lie. I don't get it either, man. It is tough out here. But we go ahead and meet up with Kieran and Car C Carmen. Holy fuck. Carmine? The fuck is her name? I'm gonna just call her Carmen. And we're forced to do this mini game where we're supposed to put these berries on a stand. And if you're too slow, basically Pokemon will go up to the stand and eat your berries. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Anybody else playing this game would definitely get smoked immediately and lose. But luckily I got my boy Karide on doing us justice and giving us the ability to beat this mini game immediately. Right after this, we see, wait, hey, is that the legendary Pokemon I saw in the cover of the DLC in the distance? Hell no, nah, nigga, that's not me. I don't know who the hell you think I am. What the? Boy, I chased you all the way over here. I know. <laughs> I'm not dumb, bro. You're literally in the cover. What's going on? Yo, who, wait, me? Yeah, you. I don't know what you talking about, bro. I'm not gonna lie. Yo, Dewaji, what are you doing? What you got going on over here? Oh, hell no. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Is that racist, man? Damn, where'd he go? But we're able to get the teal mask. But right after this, we have to go back to the community center and end off our night. And then we wake up the next morning in the same clothes. Damn, you did too. Y'all some dirty bitch. What the hell? Oh, hell no. So boom, we go to Carmen's house and we talk to her grandpa about the mask that we just got. And that was the missing mask that they've been looking for all along. The grandpa then tells us the story of what actually happened to the ogre. And we find out that the town was deceived all along. That the ogre was actually a part of the village and that the the loyal three are actually super evil and decided to steal his mask. So now we have the task of finding the loyal three and resolving the solution forever. But before then, you already know, we don't give a fuck about that boy. We try to get the shiny Pokemon. So we go ahead and evolve our Sluma into a Marco Cargo. Uh, I think that's how you say it. And look at his shiny. Hey, that's what I'll talk about, bro. Got the pink slime. This shit look like it could be at the cover of a Playboy Cardi album. Okay. We go ahead and make our way to the Apple Hill. On this trail, we're able to encounter a lot of grass type Pokemon, especially after eating the grass type encounter sandwich. We saw Lumbrays, this Pokemon, this Pokemon, a lot of grass types and stuff. So I decided to hunt for them all. But after a decent amount of hunting, guess what? We encountered a Grumbling. Grubbin? I don't even know how to freaking say this Pokemon's name. But I did not expect to get this Pokemon. But hey, welcome to the team. And then I started doing a Dougie because I found out what this Pokemon evolves to. But hey, we're not there yet. The next shiny Pokemon that we caught and encountered was the Flomantis. Right after this, we got a Suwato. And last but most certainly not least once it started raining we we're able to encounter the shiny lombre yes sir. and of course you already know we had to get the golden poochiena come on now but yeah we were able to get a shit ton of sh new shiny pokemon on our team we go ahead and evolve the grubbin into a Sharbug, and then we give that pokemon a thunderstone you know what that means if you know you know we get a vickable look at this mother we got pokemon this shit looks steel green shit look like a Ben 10 alien right after this we go ahead and evolve Bria and two little colo two lit Pokemon on our team But right now our team is looking really stacked But boy, you got me fucked up if you don't think I'm about to fly my ass all the way to Mezzagoza Run down these stairs so we can go into the salon. God damn. Why is the screen glitching? Yo editor cut this part out, bro But not before showing them the freaking Bantu knots. I'm sorry that the screen is flickering But look at this shit. We got Bantu knots and Pokemon. We got 
our new fly ass hairdo, we gotta make our way to Paradise Barrens. But guess what? Right when we got here, we were able to encounter a shiny nose pass. Hey, I wasn't looking for it, but if it wants to pop up out of nowhere, you already know I'm catching that shit. So we go ahead and make our way to the next sign because, oh yeah, we have to finish the field trip mission. But right when we get there, Karen wants to battle us again. So we do that. We immediately smoke the Yama that we have to go against with their Sluma. And then when Fur comes out, I go ahead and swap to Grubbo because I already know this Pokemon has dig because of earlier. We're four times weak to that. Meaning when it digs, we're able to just dodge that shit because we have Levitate. Yeah, the typing on Vickable is freaking awesome. Getting the sticky webs up and using Thunderbolt, being able to one-shot the Furret. Next Pokemon that comes out is Poliwhirl. We're able to absolutely destroy that. Why does that have to be like this? And we see Diplin. So we stay in and try to use Thunderbolt on it. Doesn't do that much damage. As he uses Dragon Breath, almost takes me down, but ultimately being able to bug bite it to death. And man, having all these shiny ass Pokemon is amazing. The fact that they be putting in that pain too. Oh my goodness. Why we gotta get so lucky, yo? Oh my God, I swear to God, I freaking hate hate these people that look like him you know one day one day i'm, I'm gonna get rid of all of them all of them i say all of them damn are you okay bro oh 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 yeah uh nothing's wrong let's uh let's go ahead and uh decipher the board since you can't read you really had to put in that slug huh okay whatever so we go ahead and take the picture in front of the board and i do karen is mad as fuck because i just smoked all of his goddamn pokemon bro <laughs> <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> and of course, we have to go to sleep again. This portion of the game, we got to go ahead and climb up this mountain, make our way to the top of this mountain so we can meet Carmine. Carmen? Yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna give up at this point. Of course, at the top of the mountain, we go ahead and evolve some of our shiny Pokemon that we didn't get to evolve yesterday. Like our shiny FOMO, evolving into a Lorantis. And right now, we have to go against a shiny Alpha Pokemon. What? I was just playing about this being Pokemon Legends Arceus. The fuck? We got to go against this Alpha Mo Melodic? Luckily, Ludicolo does a lot of damage especially with the freaking energy balls 80 base power putting in that motherfucker pain and sh what what is this yama doing over here the fuck he's just sitting in the middle of the battle yeah that shit just got smoked but we're able to beat it damn what the fuck is wrong with this yama why is it just sitting there in the middle of the fucking screen like that yo i don't know either but we now have a hint where the loyal three pokemon could possibly be so we go to the statue and what the what's happening what the carmen duwaji what were you two doing the hell we what do you mean we was doing the mission yeah calm down kid it's not what it looks like. Oh my god, there's no freaking way. Calm down, what are you doing? I know damn well you're not messing with my sister. Damn, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you scratching your head like that? Nah, I'm not having this, Duwaji. I'm gonna have to smoke you right now. We have to battle, bro. I know you're not messing with my sister. Go, Yanima. Go, Bria. And hell no, nah, you got me fucked up. This ain't no regular Pokemon battle. If you lose, I'm smoking you. Oh, hell. Oh, no, this dude is crazy. I'm not even doing anything. Well, this is a battle to the death. We immediately start the battle and swap Bria out because this is a flying type move. And he's gonna abuse that. So I swap the Volipede. As they use Bug Buzz, we're able to take that with ease and retaliate with the Flamethrower. Killing the Yangma with one shot. The fuck? It learns Flamethrower now? Yeah, that's something they got now. As they send out Cramora. What the? Yo, this is in the game now? This is lit. Unfortunately, I wasn't blessed with the freaking Water Absorb Quagsire, so we're forced to swap the FOMO as they use Dive. But luckily, we're able to take that with ease and we go ahead and use this time to get a growth off. Unfortunately, they use Dive, meaning they got the freaking fish in their mouth. So when we use Petal Blizzard and one shot the camera, the fish hits us in the face, luring her defense and doing a chunk of damage to us. The next Pokemon that comes out is Gligar. We swap the Kropi so we can take the Arrow Ace. Then we take a Bulldoze, lowering our speed, unfortunately, but being able to get the Razor Shell off. One shotting the Gligar. As the next Pokemon Poliwhirl comes out, we go ahead and swap to Grubbo and take a Brick Break, which isn't that effective because we're bug type. We're then able to take the Liquidation, unfortunately dropping our defense, but being able to retaliate with a Thunderbolt, one-shotting the Poliwhirl. But now Diplin comes out. We're able to use Bug Bite as they defense curl. And looking at my team, I don't really have a freaking, like, answer to this. So I decided to swap to Volipede and we're able to take it out with a Flamethrower, unfortunately. Luckily, we're able to beat him. Why? Why? You get to beat me in every battle? And you're messing with my sister? Oh, hell nah. You got me fucked up. Ah, the perkies are calling. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Ah, bitch. Damn, he smacked the fuck out of that pole. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What did you do? Yo, who the fuck are these? Oh, my God. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. That dude really had the Perkins calling. He freed us. Damn, you weren't lying. The Perkins was really calling. That boy hit that thing so hard. He freed us. Yeah. What the fuck? What the hell? These Pokemon are talking. 
fuck in this shit, yo? Hell, Hell yeah, yeah, we, we get, get the, the fuck, fuck out of here. here. What the fuck is going on? Damn, those Pokemon doing the dash. That bitch flying away. Yeah, this ain't good, bro. The level three literally are, they're free now. And we gotta go get them. We gotta go capture them. So that's exactly what we go do. We finally catch up to them. And what the fuck? They're beating up the ogre Pokemon. Oh, so you got beef, little it's over. Oh, we gotta fight this Pokemon now? He used clear smog on me. What the? Oh my God, he's strong. Yo, we, we might lose. Energy ball didn't do shit to him. So uh, I guess he gotta be a poison type. I don't really know. Hey, wait a second. How did clear smog poison me? We swap Bria out and we swap Grubbo in. They use clear smog and oh my God, bro. That is way too much damage. We kind of don't have the choice but the sack of Pokemon. We decide to stay in. We almost died to a clear smog as we use bug bite, but unfortunately we died to poison because this Pokemon just can poison us, guaranteed. Like, what? And in the cleanup, we go ahead and send out Volipede. We use Flamethrower, and we're able to take out the Monkey Dory. Damn, this thing just smoked me. Oh, oh hell, hell no. no. Yo, what the hell are you guys doing? Y'all beating up a Pokemon? The fucking gaming Pokemon? What the fuck are you? Damn, they just ran off. Yo, I'm not gonna lie, bro. This is crazy. I can't believe it was just being, it was being at him. <laughs> Orga Poro, bro, y'all already know. I don't know the fucking names, bro. <laughs> but he joins us, and unfortunately, we gotta go ahead and put Vickavolt into the freaking death box. Unfortunately, Grubbo, you will be missed. But uh, yeah, it looks like we can actually lose from here, and I hope we don't because the amount of time that we took the freaking shiny hunt for these Pokemon was obsessive. But hey, on the bright side, look at the motherfucking back to knots, bro. You got that shit on. And now we could go beat up all the Boil Three. Yeah, whatever they're called. But why not get another shiny Pokemon while we're here? Here, we decide to catch a Mimikyu. One of my most favorite Pokemon of all time. And we go ahead and name it Momo. Now we can go ahead and continue our quest. And the first Pokemon that we decide to encounter is the Flying Bird Pokemon. Fizzin' a bit a bit. What is it? Uh, okay, I'm about actually it's to say his name. Fezzanidipity. Fezzanidipity. <laughs> Oh, hell no. Now you changing your... Bro, what Titanic? What the... Okay, we gotta go against this Pokemon. And I don't know what type in this Pokemon is. I'm not gonna lie. He immediately starts off in dazzling gleams. What shuts the motor of <laughs> Oh, nah. Luckily, we have the skies on this Pokemon, meaning we're able to get the free home claws out as Mighty Anna comes out. Yeah, that shit about to get smoked, dude. We take a poison jab. Luckily, we're neutral to it because we're ghost type and we use shadow claw. What the? That didn't do shit. Yo, you're telling me that didn't do anything at all. I'm level 42. Yeah, we're forced to just keep doing this over and over again. Freaking Mighty Anna dies the recoil. Poultry Guys comes out and he has a pretty nifty ability, hospitality, healing us just a little bit bit just a little bit pretty broke whoa i gotta i gotta see about that in competitive pokemon but now we finally get it down to the freaking yellow fortunately we're able to paralyze it well she's able to paralyze it and at this point i'm thinking we need some more power so i go ahead and get some more home claws out as their pokemon dies hey yo i'm not gonna lie y'all better not lose you got me fucked up we need to smoke these niggas and the ogre's words of encouragement gives us a speed boost which definitely helps because this pokemon's paralyzed and we're able to just put in that pain consecutively over over and over and over again. We almost died. We literally almost died. But luckily, we do enough damage to be able to take down the pheasant of Dippity and we're able to get the mask back. Hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all really him. I see y'all. Of course, they had to jump me just to do this, but hey, I'm proud of y'all, man. I'm not gonna lie. Is that Pokemon talking? But of course, we gotta make our way to Monkey Dory. Hell yeah, y'all got me fucked up. I'm about to beat your ass, man. Oh my God. Why is it so big? Pause on that. And it immediately raises his special defense. The hell? This Pokemon is super bulky, but luckily this Pokemon was weak to ghost, meaning a couple home claws and a lot of shadow claws later, we're able to actually defeat it, meaning we get the second mask back. Oh, oh yeah, there's one more. Okie doggy. We immediately start the battle, and this Pokemon gets a freaking defense boost, so we go ahead and use Volipede to nasty plot up, and since we found out that these Pokemon are poison types, we use Extreasury. I don't even know how to say it, but doing half of their HP. Hell yeah, we're about to smoke this boy. Oh my god. God, this girl crazy. Meaning us taking a poison fang, of course, getting poisoned immediately. The Mighty Anna doing absolutely nothing because it can't land a takedown. And us outspeeding it the very next turn and taking it down with a psychic type move means we beat all of them. Yeah, we, we packed them up. <laughs> Meaning, yeah, that's it. That's pretty much it for the Till Mask. So we can go back to the dreaded den and put the ogre back in his hole with all his masks. 
And since he got his credibility back from all of the villagers, and they all know that he's actually a pretty good person and not an ogre, this is pretty much a happy ending. Hey, I'm not gonna lie, you kinda cool, bro. You got the Bantu knots in your head and shit, yo. Can I be your Pokemon? Oh my god, I fucking hate you, Duwaji. You get on my fucking nerves. You think you're so cool with your Bantu knot, cool hair, fucking anti gravity hair ass boy. You think you can just take everything I wanted this Pokemon. You come here and take my sister. I heard what you guys were doing last night. That's why I was so angry. That's why I had the Berkey's calling me. <laughs> <laughs> You know what? How about this? How about this? If I beat you in a Pokemon battle, he has to come with me. Damn, I'm not gonna lie. You're a bitch. Well, I'm still gonna battle him anyways. Let me know when you're ready. <sighs> of course. This portion of the game, we have to go against Kieran again. And somehow he's freaking evolved all his Pokemon. What the fuck? He's a shiftery? We immediately start the battle with Volipede and- Oh my god. Of course you're gonna freaking use Flamethrower and one-shot me like that? Like, what the fuck is this? Hey, we're the same level, so you can't even talk shit. Well, Polyrath is about to smoke your ass. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Probably wrapped and put it in Africa pain. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap to FOMO. Taking the liquidation with ease. What the fuck? Why don't you just stay in and just die? I'm doing a Nuzlocke. If I do that, I'm not gonna have any Pokemon. You're a fucking bitch. Use Belly Drum. Oh, shit. Yo, this dude not playing, bro. He not playing. Luckily, we're able to get the pedal blizzard because he's a freaking idiot for doing that. Hey, I hear you back there. I'm not a freaking idiot. You're an idiot. Yo, this is the most annoying little kid we had on the channel. But the next Pokemon that comes out is Yon Mega, and this Pokemon can smoke me. So what do I do? Swap the Volipede. Oh my god. Stop. Damn, that bug bug's the Oh, you have tinted lens. Okay. Oh my god. That is a lot of damage. But we're able to outspeed it and use Flamethrower, taking it down to 1 HP. As the Bug Buzz almost takes us out, damn, his team is actually freaking strong. I'm not gonna lie. And we're forced to swap the Momo. Even though we could have stayed in and just killed it. Yeah, I, I don't know why I swapped actually. But I go ahead and use Shadow Claw killing the Yon Mega. Now the next Pokemon that comes out is Probopass. He uses Power Gym on me a shit ton of times, but luckily this fat nose Rock Steel Pokemon and then crit him. Did you really have to do that? Oh my goodness. But now Diplin comes out. And yeah, I don't really have an answer for this on my team i need like an ice type or something but i don't have anything so i swapped the fomo and we immediately get crit and paralyzed yeah <laughs> you're talking about me getting lucky we're able to retaliate with the freaking x scissor but guess what we're in fucking slime like we're in his goo which means we're slower they decide to defense curl for some reason the next turn and guess what yeah we die because of paralyzation hacks fomo's dead all right but hey crow Peak comes out you already know you about to put in that pain i go ahead and stay in and use knockoff doing a decent amount of damage but unfortunately it doesn't have a freaking item so it doesn't do that much damage but yeah he spits syrup at my face that so happens to be a grass type move and lowers my speed meaning it's able to kill Kropi. here i decided to swap the volipede damn it's looking like i'm about to win hey i didn't tear it off terrestrialization in the freaking rules for a reason i terrestrialize and use flamethrower killing that shit oh my you're such a cheater glide score comes out and we go ahead and just use flamethrower as they finish me off with a bulldoze unfortunately meaning we lost three pokemon we only have brio left and they use aerial is knocking me down to 14 HP as we're able to retaliate with the bubble beat, beating it. And just like that, damn, this dude on his knees. Is he crying? Why you gotta, oh my God, bro. I can't even, I can't do shit. This shit sucks. Damn, you are a bitch. And just like that, we pretty much completed most of the teal mass. Unfortunately, we lost like four freaking Pokemon in the process. That last battle, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. But oh, we're not done yet. Fortunately, we do have some more Pokemon that we have in our box. So right after this battle, we go ahead and evolve Sua and we see the shiny Swad Loon. You see this shit? This shit look like an emoji or freaking, yeah, I don't know. And then we can evolve it again for it to get its final evolution. And it's about time we got this freaking Pokemon in this game. It's so weird to see 11E in like Scarlet, bro. And of course, we evolve Poochie to get the Myena. This Pokemon looks like a freaking like Super Saiyan dog. This is Goku's dog right here. It's not over yet. We gotta go against the Ogre Poon. We start the battle on this shit kind of starts growing oh my god look at this giant face this shit is so terrifying i'm not gonna lie and it's using growth meaning it's able to one shot wait okay i, I just killed it in one shot all right that's pretty much it oh it, okay it uses the second mask but we just one shot that shit too all right uh that's it for the till okay it uses this last mask what the oh my god this is the most terrifying shit ever bro this 
This shit got dreads. What's going on here? Hell yeah. This is my true form, boy. But we're able to just one shot that shit. Why are you lying to them? <laughs> I got one HP. It's over now. What? Why'd you use grow? Bro, it's no wonder why you were able to get smoked, bro. Like, what are you doing? Well, anyways, we go ahead and throw the Pokeball, getting the Ogre Pond. We end off the day and the following day. You already know what time it is, Dewaji. This is for all the marbles. You already know I look like Nomona and I sound like her, so that's how we go end off the video today. You gotta go against Nomona. What the? I'm not Nomona, you bitch! I mean, Carmen immediately start the battle against Mayena. We use X Scissor, one shotting to Mayena. Damn, you clapped the fuck out of him just like you clapped me last night. Okay, bro, skip that. Can't say that in a vid. What's going on? And yo, editor, pause. I mean, in a game, bro. I'm not the fuck I look like. This is all for jokes. Anyways, let's resume the battle. Weepy comes out. We go ahead and take the incinerate and retaliate with a mud shot, only doing 20% to them, but lowering their speed in the process. But guess what? Quagsire is a weak piece of shit. We try to aqua tail it, but of course we miss it immediately. And then the next turn, they just use Will-O-Wisp, meaning we do half the freaking damage. But it doesn't even matter because we one-shot that shit. What a crit. What the fuck was that? Yo, I'm gonna need you to not do that anymore, bro. More Pico comes out. We take the seed ball. Oh, what? Why do you have that move? Whoa, <laughs> Weepy's dead. But on the bright side, we're able to swap the Sua. We use X Scissor, one shotting the more Pico. And then her Lebony comes out. We use X Scissor, one shotting it because we outspeeded it. And then Sinitra comes out, the new Pokemon. I didn't really know what to do about this, so I decided to swap into Sluma. You see this freaking shot? This is the first time we battled it with this. This thing got that freaking thing. Foul play doesn't do that much damage to me and we decide to use lava what the why do you have scald oh no okay bruh all right bruh well we swap bria in we don't really have a way to touch this pokemon so i decide to just use hydro pump it was like nothing i could do but it does a decent amount of damage and we're able to dodge their signature move i then decide to swap to poochie assuming that their signature move was going to be a ghost type and then they used it and crit me immediately got all their hp back and guess what it wasn't a ghost move at all but on the bright side, we're able to retaliate with a crunch, taking them down to red HP, getting a defense drop on them as they scald me. And here, I decide to swap the Sua, hoping that we were faster than the Sinistra. Sinistra? Yeah. Use X Scissor, and boom. Just like that, we beat Carmen. And that's pretty much it. That is the Till Mask, only using new shiny Pokemon completed. We go ahead and box all the Pokemon that died, unfortunately. But on the bright side, we were able to see all of the new DLC Pokemon, experience this new region, and have a shit ton of fun doing it. I really enjoyed this DLC. Let me know your opinions about this DLC in the comments below. If you made it this far, you obviously loved it video go ahead leave a like and subscribe or my editors will literally star and yeah i'm not even joking about that but if you made it this far thank you for watching damn 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 that dude dewaji i swear i'm about to smoke his ass <laughs> jesse waits next video i'm gonna smoke all his shiny pokemon just you wait dewaji